about the true worship. Hallelujah. Amen. It took six days only for God to create heaven and earth and everything that you see in it. But it took more than 20 chapters in the Bible for God to teach his people how to worship him. Meaning, worship is so much important. And God does not take it lightly. Praise the living God. The reason why God created man and everything in heaven and earth was to worship him. God could not worship himself. He could not sit in his, at his throne or on his throne and say, I am worthy. I am holy. Only me. He wanted someone to worship him and recognize his holiness, mighty power, in his sovereignty. And that is why he created me and you. So the sole purpose of we existing on earth is to worship God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. He created man and everything to do that part of worshiping him. We see in Genesis, Cain and Abel worship God with their first fruit. God accepted Abel's worship but rejected Cain's worship. And we are going to look at some of the reasons why God accepted Abel's worship and rejected Cain's worship. Number one, people can worship God in different ways, but not all worship is acceptable or accepted before God. There is a difference between worship and true worship. And we are going to look at the, um, the differences in the terms of the two in the definitions of the two terms. If I may talk about the word worship, one may not understand what worship is. But it means worship is an act of honoring it is an act of honoring or showing reverence or it, it is honoring or showing reverence for as a divine being or supernatural power. It is to regard with great extravagant respect, honor, or devotion. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. It is to regard with great or extravagant respect, honor, or devotion. Amen? Ah, but the definition of true worship is 
is to honor or show reverence for as a divine being or supernatural power, honestly, genuinely, with all your heart, body, mind, and soul. So do we get the difference between worship and true worship? This is a class, so please be responsive. Let us learn together. Amen. 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 So, in Genesis 4, 3 to 7, that's where we find the story of Cain and Abel giving the sacrifice to God. Praise the living God. God accepts Abel's sacrifice and rejects Cain's sacrifice. Praise God. Let's open in Genesis chapter 4. Verse 3 to 7. And in, and in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. Kaine Oro Alete Ebibala Bietaka Kaini Alete Ebibala Ebietaka Oku Biwayo Erika Tonda. And Abel, he also brought of, of the first firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. Abel in Ayen Aleta Kuvana. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou dost well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou dost not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Praise God. Amen. So this is the reason why God accepted Abel's sacrifice and rejected Cain's sacrifice. If you're taking notes, number one, Abel gave his best. He looked out for the fatlings, only the good animals in his flock. That, that which you could look at and say, ah, I can get a million out of this. That is what he gave to God, his best from his flock. Number two, he gave in true reverence to God. He did not just he did not just bring his sacrifice to to offer as it is 
are a tradition of offering to God. But he gave with great reverence to God. Number three. He gave what was acceptable before God. Meaning there are some sacrifices that are not acceptable before God. Praise God. I'll give an example. God tells, God tells the children of Israel to sacrifice to him only the, the purest animals. An animal without blemish. Praise God. Amen. Meaning, if you bring something with a blemish on it, it is not acceptable before God. Hallelujah. Do we understand that part? Amen. Now, there are characteristics of true worship. Praise God. Amen. And some of these characteristics, we are going to name them. The number one and the very first one is worship God alone. Praise God. You must bow down to only one true God. There has to be only one God in your heart. The reason why God delivered the children of Israel out of bondage of Egyptian was to worship him and him alone. Praise God. That is why he tells Pharaoh to let his people go so that they might worship him alone. In Exodus chapter 4, verses 22 to 23 says, And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my first son. Even my firstborn. And I say unto thee, let my son go that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy first son. And the reason why God delivered us from the world and we are in church today is to worship him alone. There are so many people that are still in the world being tormented by the devil, but they are not here. But God chose you to come in this place. Not to enjoy life, not to have fun, but to worship Him. Yes, all of that will follow you. All the good things will follow you. But the sole purpose why you're here is to worship God. He says in Exodus chapter 20, verse 2 to 5. I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage thou shalt have no other gods before me thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image 
or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath. All that is in the water under the earth, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. God is serious about himself. Are you serious? Because he knows who he is. And therefore he doesn't want anything to take his glory. He says, I will share with no man my glory. Your joke cannot share God's glory. Your job cannot share God's glory. Your wife cannot share God's glory. Your husband cannot share God's glory. Your children cannot share God's glory. Your, your future, your education, Name it, it cannot stand in the place where God has to stand. Because the word says God is one. Hallelujah. Amen. And therefore, true worship is given to only and only one true God. No Rachel he says in Isaiah 44, 6, Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Katonda. And beside me there is no God. Meaning he has to be number one in everything. Praise God. As you think of, 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 uh, of applying for a job in a place, Ask yourself, is this job going to please my God? Praise God. Amen. In everything that you think of, first think, is it going to glorify my God? He says in Isaiah 46, 9, remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me. Agamba mu Isaiah na mukaga muenda jukira ebi tu ebi mabega obebi kade nzeka tonda era tewali mulala yena nzeka tonda era tewali mulala alinganze. God gave a lot of instructions about Himself to the children of Israel in very many scriptures. Katonda yawa amateka oba ebi dagiro kubana ba Israeli mubia wandi kuwabinge. For only one reason, for them to realize that he's the only good. I told you this is a very big topic and I cannot finish it today. But if I'll be given another chance, I'll come and we finish it. Praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two, if you're writing. Now, the number one characteristic is Worship God alone. The number two is love God with all your heart. Loving God with all your heart is a worship to Him. Praise God. Amen. Number three. 
Deuteronomy 6, 4 to 5 says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. Chamateka Mukaga Nya. Agama to Ulida Gwe Israeli, Yenzem Kama Katonda, Eda Katondo Mu, Boat or Jehua Garangam Kama Katonda, No Mutima Gogona, No Neme Meo Yona, Boat or Naman Gogona. Praise God. Amen. And he continues in Deuteronomy chapter ten, verses twelve. Eda Yongeda Yom, Deuteronomy, Kumi, Chamateka Kumi. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord require of thee but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Ntikati Israeli chichi mukama katonda woche yetaga okujja ko kumutya okutya mukama katonda wo okutambulira mu makuboge okumwagala no kumuwereza. Praise God. Nomtima go go nane meme yona. Praise the living God. When you look in your heart, what is the center of your what is in the center of your heart? Because God wants that center. If it is not if he is not in that center, then something else is in his place. And he longs for that place in your heart. He says in Joshua 22 verse 5. Joshua 22 verse 5. But take diligent heed to do the commandment and the law. Which Moses the servant of the Lord charged you. To love. To love the Lord your God. And to walk in all his ways. And to keep his commandments. And to cleave unto him. And to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. Praise the living God. Amen. He's still emphasizing on the same point. Love me with all of you. Don't leave any part of you out. Praise God. I mean, we are going to read a lot of scripture because this is a class. Hallelujah. He says in chapter 23, verses 11, Joshua. Joshua 23, verses 11. Take good heed that therefore unto yourself that ye love the Lord your God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. God wants him, wants you to love him. Because he loved you with everything of his. He loved you with every part of himself. That is why he gave you dominion, he gave you riches, he gave you good health, he gave you his life. His own life. He gave you everything of him. And in return, he wants you to love him like he did. With everything of you. Praise the living God. Point number three. Worship God his way, not your own way. We do not just think of how to worship God and do it our own way. But we, we want to worship God His way because His way is the only accepted way before Him. Hallelujah. Amen. God instructed Moses to put the tabernacle in place so that he could teach man how to worship him the right way. But Katonda ya ya la gira Musa engeli yoku kola yekaru. First Corinthians chapter 14 verses 33 says, God is not the author of confusion. 
Makoli nse chisoka kuminanya satu musatu e gamanti katonda. He's not the author of confusion. Si aleto kutaburua taburua. Si entandu kwa yo kutaburua taburua. Amen? Amen. He has an order that he put in place that man should follow in worshipping him. Praise God. I mean, God tells Moses that this tabernacle is the shadow, the exact shadow of the heavenly tabernacle. Meaning, what you see here, what you're going to build on earth here, is the exact shadow of what is in heaven where I am. Therefore, make sure you don't make any mistake. Follow what I say. No, Rachel, Toko and Sobi, you're not going to change. Praise God. Amen. God is an Orderly God. Katonda, ye katonda. He will never allow confusion before him. Tajja kukiriza kutabula tabula mumasoge. And that is why he gives us a good way to follow so that we can worship him. Chobola ba atuwa engeli entu fujetu ino gomeranga tumusinza. Praise God. Kama eva zibwe. I am out of time. Nde wange wende. But let me ask an Asha to come, please. Um, someone that can help me, please. Help. Praise God. Ah, the choir is here. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, that, that paper there has the picture of the tabernacle. And then Can you do it first, please? And I want to explain something small before I finish. Beneath that, that, that paper, yeah. um, there, is, there is a picture. And that picture is called the brazen lever. It is called the brazen lever. Um, <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Now, this is, this is the place where every sacrifice was brought and burnt. It is an altar of sacrifice. Praise God. Every animal that was brought in, um, before God for sacrifice was on that place, on that altar. And it lost life in this place. That brings me to a question. When we come to God, do we lose our lives to him as we worship him or we remain with our lives? Because he says, love me with all of you. So when we come to the place of worship, do we leave Give our lives, our full lives to him at this place. Or we, or we give part and leave some. That's a question to you. The second picture is called the brazen 
lever. A choto. It is an altar of washing where they washed. So after the, the, the priest had sacrificed the animal, he had blood everywhere. So he had to come to the brazen lever and wash. God instructed the priest that if you don't wash, you will die. Meaning it is very important to wash before coming to God. And that is washing yourself in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Praise God. The Lord will look at the blood of him of Jesus upon yourself and will say now this is a sacrifice coming to me. And he will gladly receive you. And he will gladly receive you. Praise God. The next place, it is written holy place. In, the, in that place we see three pictures. Oh. We have the candlestick. And we have the table of showbread. And we have the altar of incense. Do we understand the, the diagrams? Like if you look at it when I'm speaking these things, do you understand them? Okay. Now, this place, after you coming to God uh, with all yourself, killing yourself before him, washing yourself with the precious blood of Jesus, you reach a place of communing with God. And that place, you read the word of God. That is the table of shewbread. Jesus says, I am the bread of the world. If you eat of him, you shall live. Praise God. And this bread is in the word. This, this is the word of God. So the more you keep reading the word of God, you are built. The more you read the word of God, you come closer to him because you understand his mind now. The more you read the word of God, he reveals things to you. Therefore, you stop bringing your worship in your own way and understand the right way of your worship to God. And that is through reading the word. We have the candlestick. That candlestick gives light. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. I came, I came to give the light to the world. Praise the living God. The light of the world is the word of God. Therefore, as you read the word of God, the Lord will show you things that you didn't even know. Because his light is on the word of God. Praise God. We go to the next diagram that is the altar of incense that is where you put all your prayers that is why it is good as you come in the in the presence of God you pray you repent after repenting then you sit and know the heart of God after knowing the heart of God you pray in the heart of God Praise God. 
It is more powerful to pray in the word of God than praying in your own words. Because the word of God has power. Praise God. There is a word there that says the veil. That was torn by Jesus Christ at the cross. And therefore, you, you're not blocked. You have access to the Holy of Holies. And the Holy Spirit is ready to receive you. At any time, any point, anywhere. As long as you choose to come to him. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I have given three points. But there are still a lot to learn. Have we understood what we've learned today? Hallelujah. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we raise up on our feet? Amen. And shall we appreciate God for the word that we have received today? How many have been blessed? Yes, I've been blessed. Praise the name of Jesus. True worship. We'll make sure we find time for Sister Ray to come back and finish up on that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. As the choir is setting up to come, you guys should have been set up. But uh, the Spirit, the, the Bible tells us that uh, the hour is coming. And now is the hour that the true worshippers of God will worship in spirit and in truth. Choir, as you come. Hallelujah. For God is a spirit. For God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Praise the name of Jesus. Therefore, I appeal to us, even as the choir is leading us in praise and worship, that we will lift up our spirits. Hallelujah. Amen. And there will be truth in our hearts as we worship. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to see the true worshippers of God. Praise God. Um, uh, you know, one of the fruits of the Spirit is joy. You ought to be joy. You, you ought to be with joy in your own. You know, we pass through a lot. Sometimes the week is not easy. But I want you to lay everything aside and you'll be the true worshipper with joy. Hallelujah. So we are going to praise God. Eh? We are going to praise God. Before I want you to uh, just wave to your neighbor, greet your neighbor, smile to your neighbor, tell him you're welcome. happy to praise God. Ha. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know. I'm so happy. Hallelujah. Hear yeah, that sound. The praise. 
Hey. I want you to come like this. Hey. I want to dance for God in every dance. Praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You have placed me up and found a wife. That's like a winner, man. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You have placed me up and found a wife. That's like a winner, man. For your grace on my life, you are blessed. Day over than now, I dance like a winner, man. Let me see some winner, man. You are blessed. You are blessed. Me over than now, I dance like a winner. I will praise you, oh, for your grace on my life. You are blessed. Day over than now, I dance like a winner, man. Praise you, oh Lord, for your grace on my life. You are blessed. Day over than now, I dance like a winner. Hey, when you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. Hey, when you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. Hey, when you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me sing, I sing like a winner man. When you see me. Hey, when you see me pray, I pray like a winner man. When you see me pray, I pray like a winner man. Oh, oh winner man. Oh, oh winner man. Oh, 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 winner man. I've not yet seen a winner man in this place. I want to see you jumping, dancing for God. We are winners in this place. Winners in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Oh, winner man. 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 You are blessed, me, oh Papa, now I dance like a winner, man. Praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You have blessed me, oh Father, now I dance like a winner, man. Yeah, I will praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You have blessed me, oh Papa, now I dance like a winner, man. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You yeah. have blessed me, oh Father, now I dance like a winner, man. Oh, winner, man.
Now find a neighbor if you are forget someone. Give him a high five. What has God done for us? What is good? Hallelujah. You know, you give him a high five. Hallelujah. Ah ha. Banana Fayo, a 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 only one thing. The Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell a testimony. You know, my mother got lost for a year and no one knew where she was. She got lost. My mother and my young brother. Hallelujah. But after some time, I found her. And man, the only thing you could say that I fire you. Praise God. Jesus cares. Hallelujah. Let me hear someone today. Hey, yes, I fire you. I fire you. Yes, I fire you. I fire you. Barakani, yes, we Okay, 
you have about him your worship is the total sum of who you know about of how much you know God if you've never found a reason to, to worship God think about how far he has brought you remember those moments when you were sick and you couldn't find healing anywhere else but God called up for you Remember the days when you are nobody and find a reason to worship God. I remember those days when we were hopeless. I didn't know that I would ever even join the university. But I thank God because He is God. I don't know what the Lord has done to you. There's a lady who said, no one knows what the Lord has done for me. And that's the way I worship him, the way that I do. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Remember that one thing the Lord did for you and find a reason to worship him today. Father, we thank you, Lord. We honor you in this place, O oh God. We recognize your presence in this room, my God. That's why we stand and give you glory and honor because you are worthy, my Lord. Because you are worthy of our worship, O oh God. Father, you do not want us to put anything before us you, my God. Father, we honor you with our lips, oh God. We honor you with our bodies, with our lives and everything that we are, oh God. Because all you seek from us is our true worship from a pure heart, my Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Come and take your place in our hearts today, oh God. Come and take your place in our minds, oh Lord, King of glory. Someone lift up your voice and exalt the King of Kings because he is worthy of it all. For from him are all things and to him are all things. Father, we worship you, Lord, for you deserve it, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 